Hello everyone, it's Yashi, Gamer Girl of Red Steel LPs, and welcome back for more Spyro Year of the Dragon! Last time we took on a boss, Buzz, and completed this entire overworld sort of thing. And today we're going to talk to Moneybags and see about this. Ah, my good friend Spyro. The uh -huh. sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory. But I'm willing to release him into your custody. Okay. Provided you pay his outstanding fine. Fine. Well, yeah, fine. We'll pay 700. <laughs> what a sucker. Uh, that is, it's a far, far better thing you do today, Spyro, than you have ever done, and, uh, well, so forth, etc. You get the idea. Yeah, whatever. You just want more money from us. All right, this is Bird. James Bird. Oh! <laughs> Sounds something familiar, like 007 maybe? Hi, Mr. Bird, dude. Nice wings and ammunition. Sergeant Bird, 90068. Awaiting orders, sir. Uh, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Apparently, hey, what are those things? We're not These are the latest officer. military hardware. DBX-9 rocket launchers, state of the art. So why did you use them to escape? Yeah, good yes, question. Babe. Because, because I have limited ammo, mm -hmm. and I wanted to conserve it. Or this. What is it? What are you gonna do? Oh, nice shot, dude! Hey, where'd you come from? <laughs> I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years. Or <laughs> well, yeah. the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Yeah, well, if it's that's peace what and happened quiet to all the dragons. Quiet, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks. Ooh. Cheerio! Uh, thanks for the tip, dude. But, you know, we kinda have to go in there if we want to advance the plot any on this. The adventure does continue, and, well, we have to go today. Today's level is going to be... Uh, I don't remember what it's called. What is it called? Uh, Sergeant Bird's Base. It is very noisy, it is very loud, it has a lot of explosives, and Spyro's not going to be doing this one. Sorry, no Spyro action today, but um, at least we do have everything before going in. And, well, we get a new partner. I have to train the hummingbirds. They must be in peak physical condition if we're going to take on the sorceress. That is true. Okay, carry on, sir. All right, what's the deal? Sir, the situation is this. Yesterday, at 1845 hours, the Rhinox invaded. Oh. We defended as best we could, sir, but without your leadership, we didn't put up an effective resistance. Oh, no. By 1900 hours, the rest of the squad was captured and the Rhinox had complete control of the base. Oh, my goodness gracious. So, basically, I'm going to have to, I guess, use all of my tactics as a good soldier, uh, leader, gentleman, dude, and command these hummingbirds to, you know, fire explosives like this? No, just joking. Um, basically, I'm actually not going to tell you how to control Sergeant Bird. It's pretty basic. And plus, the um, hummingbirds, if you don't know how to explode the things or use your explosive, she'll tell you how to use them. It's, this is why I like the game. It's very, very, very helpful with the tutorials. And, oh, was that Rhinox guarding that little, um, uh, hummingbird? Yeah, I guess so. But guess what? We just go to the cage and touch it. Uh, apparently, we can't explode it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, uh, person. Flying bird? Hummingbird? Yeah, I can't talk today. Anyway... So we go to our second in command, I guess. This is what she is or something, and we talk to her. I recommend you take the enemy out with your rockets by pressing the circle button, oh, sir. Oh, thank you very much. So yeah, if you don't know, circle is the... Oh, God! You... Circle is the firing the rockets, and you actually do have unlimited ammo, it, despite what he said in the cutscene. Also, you can go into first-person view by pressing the pressing and holding the triangle button and fire a little more efficiently and target the Rhinox a bit. And, well... Ah, crap! I think I got too close to that. Whoa! Where did you come from, you... Ah! Oh, how dare you flow, throw flower pots at me, you derp face stupid head. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, that one has a net, so I'm guessing that she's trying to catch bees. Excuse me. I made a mistake. No Rhinox or girls, even though it kind of suggests otherwise by that. Oh, or whatever is her dying cry is or whatever. I'm sorry, but there's no such thing as as girl Rhinox here. 
they're just cross-dressing transvestite now. I'm joking, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anyone! Anyway, you come in here, you're just opening the doors and stuff. Sir, I've captured the enemy Russians. They won't march far on an empty stomach. Oh, you captured the Russians? Oh, what'd you give me? Oh, an egg. Sig... Sig... Fried? Interesting name. Oh, Peekaboo! We see you! Sir, the Rhinox have blocked the way out of this next cave That's with a security door. What? And I don't think you'll be able to blast your way through this one. Oh, boy. Recommend you land on the weights and carry them to the pressure-sensitive security switches either side of the door. When in uh -huh. position, press the square button to drop the weight. Okay. Press the triangle button once to look down. Press it again to look up, sir. Yeah, she basically gave you a tutorial on how to pick up these weights and efficiently drop them on enemies. Yeah, you see, as, as, as I just did there, I press the triangle button. You can shoot still while you're picking up these weights, which is very handy because, you know, people... These Rhinox will want to, like, you know, throw flower pots at you and want to kill you and stuff like that, but I'm trying just to drop these weights. You know, I think... Whoa. Okay. Camera angle there. Aw. Oh, okay, so I didn't... Wait, whoa. Didn't quite get it on there. So I have to put that there. I don't know if that's... Whoa! Who is shooting at me? Stop throwing your flowers at me! I know they're pretty, but, I mean, seriously. Whoa, can't fall in the lava. Oh, you son of a bitch! I hate you, Rhinox. I hate you. Yeah, I'm almost dead already. That's just great. I need to kill this little... Thank you. Oh, I can't move today! Why? No, it's okay. Actually, um... Basically, if you don't know how to maneuver the... the I think he's a pigeon. Uh, Sergeant Bird. Then it's really not that hard to learn. Always ask you know how you do things it's just kind of a you know we want to pick up the weights and then drop them let's see if i can get this oh wow that was easy all right but don't forget also in here is another hummingbird soldier soldier who was captured and so yeah you don't have to talk to them but i like talking to the hummingbird soldiers because they um say something different and that rhinoc is going to die as soon as i thank you targeted and it drops a gem. Yay! I get to collect gems today. Yippee! Okay, so let's see what this hummingbird soldier has to say anyway. How about it? Request permission to cheer, sir. Yippee pourri! Wait, 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 wait. So basically, you requested permission and then before I said granted, you went ahead and cheered anyway. You're disobeying your commanding officer, ma'am. No, just joking. Just, it's, it's cool, it's, it's cool, cause like, I think he would say, request permission to cheer sir, and then in the text it said dot dot dot. So, I'm pretty sure he said granted, without me actually saying grant, or without Sergeant Heard actually saying granted. So yeah, oh, and you wanna fly up here, because these pots, the pots with the gems in them, you can miss quite easily. I remember having to backtrack through some of these levels, and I'm like, oh my god, did I not hit a thing? Okay, so I go into first person view and I fire at him, and I hit him a little more effectively, and... Oh god, ah, you stupid head! How dare you fire a plunger bullet at me, the weird... Ah. So yeah, um, now we're gonna go into the m sort of main-ish part of this level as soon as I get this. Come on, thank you. Alright, I'm gonna get these gems over here, because I don't want to miss any. Plus, I want to get this ladybug so I can get more health again. Yay! Oh, and these gophers right here that are in those holes, they'll be a little bit important in a bit. Right now, they're not too terribly important, and if by any means you can't really fire like that, because when you get close to them, they kind of just go back in their holes. But talk to her Keep again. Keep the good fight, sir. Uh -huh. We're almost there, and I'm uh, right behind you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what she's trying to talk about is pick up these, whoa, these um, like missiles, and you can fire them with um, I think zero, zero. I can't talk. Um, the square button or triangle, not the triangle button, excuse me. No, triangle is to aim up or down or look a certain way or something. And 
chests like this, you need to do that and break it only with a missile that you're carrying with your little feet, apparently. It's kind of cute how he's carrying them. It's like, oh, you know, I have a little missile and I'm going to drop it at you like an air airship thing. So, yeah. Oh, I think I hit a... Yes, and I did. Oh, whoa! Hello, I didn't see those enemies. Oh, here, there's a thing right here I need to hit. Good, good. I need to hit all the treasure stuff and whatnot. Hopefully he doesn't... Thank you. He, I hit him before he fired at me, because... Oh my god, the, the Rhinox are big trolls in this. You also have to be, like, um, flapping your wings a lot in this level. It, it, the main goal is to fly, usually, a lot. He doesn't walk really fast, but... He is a good flyer. I mean, I'll give him that. And also you're going to want to walk along this edge because you're going to find gems here and maybe some more of the high flying. Yeah, see these high flying things here. All right. And basically what you want to do is destroy like all the rhinox and stuff like that, which are not hard to find in this area because then you'll you'll be done with the level sort of efficiently, but you also want to rescue these hummingbird soldiers because they're, um, important. Reporting for duty, sir. Good job, Chloe. Uh, I need two more hummingbird soldiers. And I gotta tell you, it's hard actually finding some of them because they're kind of tricky, but, um, let's see. Let me get these over here. And as soon as you have... Mission accomplished. It's great to have you back, sir. Ah, no problem, Gabrielle. Mm. Ah, oh, Ryan Lee, this is our next egg. Oh, oh, he's so sleep, he's so sleep, he's so cute. Anyway, um, I guess you don't have to destroy all the Rhinox. I'm guessing that, whoa, I'm guessing that all you have to destroy is the pathway to the ending pathway, sort of, before you can actually go out again. Ah, crap. So, um... But you still want to, like, get all the hummingbirds and stuff, and... Oh, okay, so that was kind of a lucky shot. Usually, with, with um, the enemies that... They're really not enemies, they kind of just burrow under the ground as soon as you, like, try to shoot at them. But usually you take the, the little mole things out with your, um... With, with the missiles that I drop, like, whoa, air cannon things or whatever. Or, whoa, okay. Um... So, um, they're really not for any, um, what's it called? Gems or anything. Uh, by the way, you come over here to do this for your another hummingbird, which is kind of hidden. But it's tedious and it works. What are your orders, sir? My orders that you eat a bug. You must eat a butterfly by, oh, 700 hours. No, no. See, like, <laughs> because the early bird gets the worm, right? No, <laughs> I'm just joking. I need sparks back. That reminds me. I need to go find another ladybug so I can destroy it and get a butterfly. And then sparks will appear, apparently. So, yeah. Um, the As I was saying, the moles in this level are not for any gems or anything. They're for skill, the skill point. It'll get you a free extra life and everything. Oh, it'll... I guess I can open this, so yeah, but that was a extra life butterfly, excellent. Now I have 18 lives and sparks all fully recovered, yeah. Extra life butterflies fully recover sparks' um, energy, no matter if you don't have them anymore or if you do, it always fully recovers them, so that's good. I'm going to get put some missiles on some of these and this one right here because I can't open it otherwise, and I've got all these gems here that I need to pick up. Very good. Ooh, 2003. Say. Oh look, it turned to 2013. Isn't that this year? Yep, yeah, that, that's this year. <laughs> okay, so there's some more ladybugs. For oh, I missed that, I guess. <laughs> it was hidden. Alright, I'm looking around to see if I can find any more gem boxes or something. It doesn't look like it. I'm kind of just scanning here and... Oh, whoa! almost missed those. Maybe I can... Okay, good. Alright, maybe I can... Alright, there we go, let's... Alright, he's dead! Yay! I think I can pick this up. Okay, so let me pick up four more missiles before I have to go back. You kind of have to backtrack a little bit in this level, just a bit here, because, um, I mean... 
you want to get all these mole things or whatever for a skill point, you know, I'm going to drop and die. Yay! Drop and die, yeah. Um, also, it's because that when you backtrack over in is it this room, oh, no, okay, so it's not in this room. Let's, um, yeah, this room right here. You're going to find a treasure chest that can only be opened by this means, and yay! Also, there's a big opening in the hole for, for the, whatever, the, the hole, yeah. I'm going to drop this last one on this little guy here. Yeah, you're dead, and no skill point yet. Okay, I must not have destroyed them all, but I'm going to get the rest of the gems here. Um, okay, so let's fly cautiously down, because I know, uh, I do know this level, by the way, like, kind of by heart, because I, like, uh, I've played this game a lot, and you're going to want to, if you can't, like, get a good aim on the Rhinox or uh, something, you're going to want to go into first person view and just... Okay, okay, so I guess one of them hit them. And, uh, shoot at the Rhinox and stuff like that. I think there's something... Nope. Okay. Before I was captured... Oh, before I was captured, I recovered this egg from the enemy, sir! Roy, the egg. Okay, dragon. What's going on? Oh. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to peek at you changing or something. No, I'm just joking. So that's all three eggs in this level, which is really good. And we still don't have all the gems. I, I'm missing ten of them, apparently. Uh, I know I'm missing ten because, well, it said that our total was uh, 2,081, and I know that to have a full number that we would have 2,091 because we have an odd number of gems right now. Because, um, let's see. In the next up, oh wow! See, see what I'm saying about flying? You can miss these gems if you do not fly. And oh, that's it, that's it. Yes, that's all 500 gems. But I'm still not done in this level. Why? Because I want to get that skill point and show you guys. I there's um the skill point very very um good for this. All right, so I'm going to find those gopher things that pop out of the holes and get a skill point. Skill points always get you an extra life, to um, to those of you who don't know, if you haven't seen a pattern. I don't think there's been many of those skill point things yet or something. I don't know. They start appearing in random places, and even I haven't found all the skill point places. But I ha I do know where like all the eggs are and stuff like that for, for this game, I know that. So I'm thinking I'm missing one, and I don't think it's back like backtracking this is really a shortish level i think it's in the main area here um now that i have all everything else i always want to go for the skill point um oh no okay that was a ladybug all right let's let's see here are we going to find the hole where's the hole oh there it is okay so this must be the last one um let's drop this and oh Oh, there we go! Skill point! Yay! And that's my 19th life, and now we can finally get out of here, because we got everything on this level. Yay! So, yay! 500 more gems and 3 eggs have been recovered from Sergeant Bird's base. Seems that, well, things are going quite smoothly here. And, of course, we come out here, and the level is totally complete, as always. But next time on Spyro Year of the Dragon, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back, whoa, whoa, come on, go in there, to the first world and backtrack so we can get backtrack in the Molten Crater um, level. So until then, I'm Yashi, Gamer Girl of Red Steel LPs, and I will see you guys later.